So thanks for uh, taking some time. I, I appreciate it. I'm oh, glad to do it. Thank you. Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going at the shop? Good. It's, it's a, a new, uh, a new normal. Uh, <laughs> uh, we've been uh, in, in, we used to be very, very busy in the morning and lots of catering orders to the different schools, medical schools, universities, um, and that all that catering has gone away and we're actually slow at lunch now. You know, the business people aren't in the office and coming down, the landscapers and construction workers haven't been working and they're not coming down, but mm -hmm. we've been busier at nighttime. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've had to kind of shift things around a little bit and the uh, doing the delivery and the takeout only uh, took a, a week or two to kind of get, get going correctly. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but we're, we're open. We're meeting payrolls. We're keeping people that are one of work uh, employed. Okay. Um, and it's, uh, it's been going good. And I think we're providing people uh, food to the door, contactless delivery. Uh, we're real careful about what we're doing inside and who touches what and, and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And uh, um, it's been uh, interesting. It's been very interesting. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, this has been something since you've been in business. How long have you been uh, at, at that location there on Ridge? We're going on 16 years, July 4th weekend. Wow, wow. Any special, uh, uh, any specials coming up for that or any sort of ways to recognize that milestone? <laughs> to be honest with you, we've been so busy, we haven't even thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. Last year, we did rollback prices on a couple items to what it was when we first opened, like a price of a pizza oh, wow. and that kind of stuff. I, I don't know. It depends on what's going on uh, yeah. this time around. But Yeah, you got your hands full with other things right now. I get that. Yeah. How is the, uh, how's the team holding up? The, the, the team is good. We, we had, and I'm sure most businesses that are still open, uh, it's similar, but we've had uh, a number of employees that had concerns and possible health issues and left the, our employee. Um, and so we were kind of short staffed. Mm -hmm. um, so even though we're not as busy as we were before, we're doing it with a less, lot less people. Okay. Um, I know myself, I've been in every morning mopping the floor, making dough, mixing the sauce, uh, scrubbing the bathroom, and oh. all the stuff we did when we first opened 15, 16 years ago. Oh, wow. Um, and then we kind of bring the staff in for just when we need them, just so we don't burn them out. Most of our guys are on six days at the moment yep. and, and really working hard, and we uh, appreciate them uh, stepping up because just like the, the people in the hospitals, just like the people in the grocery stores, uh, they're everyone's taken a little bit of a risk and they're, uh, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's to be commended because it's, uh, those guys have done a great job for us. Yes, m most certainly, most certainly. Uh, how, um, your hours now, you go, you go a pretty long day, right? So, I mean, your guys, I mean, they're, they're in there yeah, quite a bit. We, we cut it a little bit. We're, uh, 11 till nine through like the week and we open until 10 in the, the weekends. We okay. used to go to midnight and just, People with nothing going on, no sports to watch, no, you know, games to go to. Everything's winding down much sooner. Mm -hmm. um, my partner, uh, Jimmy Joyce, um, his kids are home from school. So he's got three kids that he's got to watch during the, the, the day. His wife's working. And uh, so that's a new, new normal. And he's doing the uh, online school with three children and then mm -hmm. coming in and working nighttime. <laughs> so oh, my. He's, he's uh, a day. Yeah, you've got a day as well. True. Yeah, yeah. How are you? Uh, how are you holding up? How are things? You got uh, your you know, cabin fever every so often, or are you just uh, too busy for that? Uh, be honest with you, I feel like I've been too busy for that. <laughs> um, we've been doing good. My wife's a nurse, um, and uh, we we try ourselves to really be careful who we are around at any point, and and try to be extra careful and, and extra safe with our. Uh, coverage and equipment and uh, washing hands and that kind of stuff. And, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yes, I think like everybody I've watched, Oh, I want to watch on Netflix and the uh, <laughs> YouTube channel I'm going through. And, uh, like like your, your stress, your stress relief is, yes. is that is the streaming. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, got a question for you that uh, you might not be often asked, but um what would it be? What I know you you've got a great menu. I mean, my favorite is the buffalo chicken pizza. I'm sure there's ten thousand people out there that love the buffalo chicken pizza. But what do you order if you order from Slices? What's your thing? My favorite uh, two things. One is a salad. We have a French Connection salad mm -hmm. with 
baby spinach, uh, crumble blue cheese, sliced Granny Smith apples, uh, honey uh, walnuts, uh, uh, either a raspberry vinaigrette or a balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's dynamite because it's different flavors and textures and it's you, you get the bitterness of the blue cheese but the sweetness of the dressing you get the crunch of the apple with the snap of the tartness it's a very gourmet salad for a pizza shop and oh, wow. that's one of my favorite um when when i'm being bad uh, uh an italian stromboli <laughs> is uh is one of my favorite things if we're not getting pizza Okay, excellent, excellent. And what are you seeing as far as uh, people ordering these days? Is anything popping up as a real popular item? The, the um, not a lot of salads. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people aren't eating as healthy. Maybe at home there's nobody at work watching over your shoulder to see you. Uh, oh. and people have been splurging. I, I know myself, my workout routine has been out the window. And, and, and that kind of stuff, I fear we'll pick it up when we get on the other side of this. Sure. But it's been, um, it's more of like the, the family ordering at home and not the, um, yeah, I guess the work type of uh, catering stuff that we, we normally tend to, tend yeah. to see. Yeah, uh, excellent, excellent. Uh, and I guess the uh, online ordering, that's been no problem with that. I mean, I see that you're, you're having no one really come into the store. It's been mostly what people, you step outside and you hand it to them curbside sort of thing? That, that, that's correct. The, uh, you know, we, even if they come to the door, we have a phone number or a, a they can pull it up on their phone and order that way. Okay. And then we can take care of everything and just hand it out the door to them and have the least amount of exposure that we possibly can. Okay. All right. Have you heard any uh, feedback from anybody that would say uh, has had any nervousness about ordering food out? I mean, I've heard from some friends like, I don't know about that, but I'm seeing pizza is, uh, yeah. you know, you pull it right out of an oven, you've got the paddle, you drop it right into the box. I mean. That's right. And, and if you have gloves on that it goes out and, and I, I feel pretty pretty confident. Uh, we, we have, uh, a, a, we, we were able to order from one of our suppliers a gigantic thing of wipes and we were able to get the, the Purell hand, hand sanitizer and, you know, every, every order we're wiping, wiping, wiping the, the, the door handles, the counter, the uh, people putting new gloves on. So we're, we're really trying to take it seriously as, as best we can. Yeah, yeah. And uh, do you have, uh, I guess there's really no uh, indication at this point about, you um, when the lockdown ends, but, uh, you know, I guess, uh, you guys being that you're already doing a delivery service anyway, I mean, you know, yeah. besides the, uh, you know, the precautions and all that stuff, I mean, you're able to just really be uh, nimble as far as just yeah. sort of, like you said, you're, lo you're losing some people walking in in a workday sort of environment, but you're also able to send to families and do all that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. We are definitely one of the lucky ones. Uh, I, I drive by and, uh, you know, so many of the bars and, and uh, the, the breweries and, 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 and restaurants and places like that are really, uh, I, I feel for it because they had nothing kind of coming in or very little just from what they're doing, you know, doing the delivery. And it's new for them. Mm -hmm. uh, and for us, it's kind of what we've been doing for years. Yeah. Um, it, it's also, it's nice. There's no traffic out there. So our delivery <laughs> guys are zoom, zoom. Uh, you're getting, <laughs> they, you're delivering much quicker than you normally would. Uh, That's a good thing. That's a good yeah, thing. It's it, not a bad, it's a very fine silver lining but, uh, to this, but it does work. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. So do you um, have any uh, specials that you want to share with us currently or anything that uh, people would oh, want to know about? Uh, we, we were uh, open up. We were trying to let people know the people ordering pizza. And normally Monday, we have a pizza special. Buy one large, you get a second for $1.99. We usually would do that Monday, our slowest day of the week. And we've opened that up. If people mention it through the, uh, uh, you know, th through the uh, newspaper that we will do it any day of the week. Oh. So kind of extended our best specials to be all the way through. Okay. Um, but we're trying hard just to do it you know, with the uh, East Falls local folks. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jim. We appreciate it. Uh, one last question. I'll let you go. Uh, do you, uh, we're generally trying to interview people in the neighborhood, either just neighbors or businesses or organizations uh, to, you know, to give them some love as well. Do you have anyone in mind that uh, you would suggest we, uh, we touch with a uh, base with next? All right. How much time do you have? <laughs> uh, it, it's been kind of neat because the businesses that have stayed open, um, the, the trolley car, Thunder Mug, um, the uh, Le Bus, 
Um, I, I bought more bread from a bus in the last, you know, s six, seven weeks and given it out to people and brought it home to our house and given it to employees. And, and you, you know, you, you do what restaurant people do. You, you give a hundred percent tip and say, Hey, thank you. Yep. Um, and the, uh, uh, and then they come and reciprocate and it's been kind of neat, kind of a, uh, you know, a tight little culture on the block and, and everyone's kind of looking out for each other. We've uh, sent some pizzas down to Jasmine at the trolley stop. They've sent <laughs> some, uh, uh, some milkshakes up our way. So it's, uh, it's been nice. Uh, the other thing is, is what's been great is the, the customers uh, have, the vast majority have seen what people are under and have, way up the tips for the drivers or people that come to the door or hey you know there's you know five extra bucks or seven extra bucks, put it in the tip jar and yep. uh, thank your guys and it's been real it's been real nice and it's uh it helps on our end for our people to feel appreciated and uh to feel that they're uh you know the hard work doesn't go unnoticed which yeah is yeah i mean you, you see the signs but it's nice that people are digging a little deeper yeah to, yep. to show their appreciation and and, and, and true appreciation it's it's not just I don't know. You can tell, I can tell the difference when somebody, you know, is really like, Hey, thank you very much. And, and somebody is who it doesn't. And I think people are, uh, you know, a step back and much more appreciative these days, which is uh, definitely a, a, a positive to this uh, crisis we're going through. Yes, right, right. Well, thank you again for making some time. Uh, yep. Once again, this is the local live with Jim Williamson from Slices Pizza. Can, can uh, I give one, one plug? Yes. Um, and, and that is, um, uh, and, and uh, Jasmine from the trolley car is one of the lead people in this, but uh, there is a uh, GoFundMe page for the hospitality workers in the East Falls area. Mm -hmm. And they've collected money and they've, uh, we, we've actually tried to do where if you give 50 bucks, you're going to get your name in a hat and mm -hmm. slices will give a $50 gift certificate to the couple, you know, if your name gets drawn out and we're just trying to have people do it. But for a lot of those people that have been really severely affected by it in the hospitality business and it would help them out just a, uh, just a little bit. Okay. Um, I, I got to get you the, the, the link that it is. I, I don't know if it's East Falls yeah. Hospitality. I, I, you may know it. Oh, yeah. We, we have a, a link to it. Uh, we could add that information that you're speaking about with the $50 add. gift certificate. Yeah. Uh, and we can put it up there uh, in the comments section under this uh, video. That, that would be great. Just uh, We've actually had one of our uh, people that is, was severely cut back in their, uh, you know, their hours uh, that applied, went through the process. It wasn't this big long thing and that, you know, got a couple of dollars that helped towards buying groceries that week. And uh, I, I guess to say it, it works and, and uh, money is coming in and money's going out, which is, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Jim. We'll make sure we get that information up as well as your website your social media contacts, all that stuff in, uh, like I say, in the comments. Uh, and uh, thanks again for, uh, for the time and, and you be well. Thank, thank you, Steve. Appreciate it. And for okay. the menus. Take care now. Sure, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank See you. ya. See you now. <laughs>